Hi everyone, Frank Verney here. Welcome to another edition of Real Estate Help by Frank. There's a lot of questions that I get about qualifying for our mortgage today. So I thought that I'd spend a few minutes and review the new mortgage lending rules that are now in effect, which put an end to the worst mortgage lending abuses of the past. Now the new rules are designed to take a back to basics approach to mortgage lending and lowers the risks of defaults and foreclosures among the borrowers. There are no more debt traps, no more surprises, no more runarounds. These are bedrock concepts which are backed by new common sense rules. The new rules are balanced and will offer consumer protection without limiting credit to qualified buyers. The key word is being qualified. Mortgage lenders are being asked to comply with two new requirements, the ability to repay rule and qualified mortgages. Now here's how they will impact borrowers. The ability to repay means that lenders must determine that a borrower has the income and assets to afford to make payments throughout the life of the loan. To do so, the lender would look at your debt to income ratio, which is how much you owe on all your monthly obligations divided by how much gross income you earn each month. In an effort to put an end to the no or low document types of loans that caused the mess, where lenders issued risky mortgages without the necessary financial information, they will now be required to document and verify all income, all assets, credit history, and debt. Unfortunately for borrowers, that means much more paperwork and longer processing times. Underwriters must also approve mortgages based on the maximum monthly rate and payments you will face, not just any low teaser rates that last for a short period before going higher. The second item is qualified mortgages. This is to make sure you aren't taking on more of a loan than you can afford. So your debt to income ratio generally must be below 43%. Now this rule is not absolute because banks can still make loans to people where the ratios are greater if other factors such as a high level assets would justify the risk. Qualified mortgages cannot include any risky features such as terms longer than 30 years, interest only payments, or minimum payments, the so-called option arms that don't keep up with the interest so your mortgage balance continues to grow. Upfront fees and charges cannot add up to more than 3% of the mortgage balance. That includes title insurance, origination fees, and points paid to lower your mortgage interest rates. The rules also restrict steering or practices that give financial incentives to loan officers or mortgage brokers for pushing people into higher interest loans that they can't afford. This was a practice that was all too common leading up to the housing bust. Now one of the main issues under these new rules is that states like California and areas where real estate prices are higher and continuing to rise, many people may not be able to qualify for a mortgage. Therefore, it's extremely important to get your finances in order and get pre-approved before you look for a home. There are a lot of great lenders out there. If you need the name of someone, please give me a call. I'd be happy to recommend one to you. Now, if you or someone you know has questions and could use help in any real estate matter or considering selling or buying, contact me, Frank Verney, and I'd be happy to help in any way I can. If you found this interesting, please like it, share, or forward to someone that can use it. I'd also appreciate any comments below or subscribe for further updates. I'll see you again soon. Thanks and good luck.